dragons? It's me, Mason. Look who's in the big chair now. Yeah, big chair. Little paycheck, but big chair. Today we look at the Gretna Tennis team. The girls put in a lot of hard work this season under new head coach, Noah Bernal. How did they do this season? Junior sports correspondent and the guy who thinks Nebraska can win 10 games, Garrett Tinton, has the story. Here we are starting out with Coach Benzel for a interview on girls tennis. <laughs> so we usually start about 3.45, we go to about 5.30 and we'll start off with conditioning for about 10-15 minutes and then we'll break up into the ladder. So they have a partner based off of where they are on the ladder. So player, like the top of the ladder would be like our top two players and they would partner up and form up together and then three and four and so on. And then we'll break up into what would be maybe more the JV and then the reserves and then varsity will have their own courts and then we'll have usually a drill we're gonna do for that day um, and we'll focus on a particular skill. So sometimes we'll do multiple drills. So we'll focus on maybe their ground strokes or we'll work on their volleys. Uh, possibly it's serving, but then we'll chunk it up and then we usually end on some conditioning as well. I love seeing kids outside of the classroom, um, particularly now that Gretna is getting bigger. Uh, I don't have many kids in my class anymore. You know, in the beginning when I started, I had the majority of those players in class and now I have so few. So it's nice to meet kids who I either don't have in class or I get to see them in a different light compared to as a student. I do. I think any kid who's in an activity, whether it's one act or band or show choir or any of the sports, you want to be able to participate and so you have to be much better at time management. And so being able to keep all your work in order, making sure that you don't have to come in for detention before or after school and keep up things. So I find that kids in any kind of activity, and that includes work, are very, they're much better at trying to figure out when am I going to do my work. They probably use their AEP much more effectively in their study halls. I did not actually. So I played tennis growing up with soccer and unfortunately for girls it's the same season. And so since my dad was one of our high school soccer coaches I played soccer in high school but still played club during the year. My first year teaching, which was a long time ago here, um, they had an opening for JV and Tennis is kind of a niche sport, so not a lot of people have played it. And so I volunteered, and it, it's just stuck. Uh, we definitely condition a lot more, um, and it's great. Uh, we're able to, I think, be better prepared for our later matches in the year when we really do need to be more fit. Um, we still do the same kind of skills that we would under previous coaches, but we've put much more emphasis on the conditioning, and I feel that will pay off later on in the season. Uh, I think at the beginning it might have been because we hadn't – run a lot in the past couple years um, and so the first couple days and couple weeks for old players not freshmen because they didn't know any different um, were I think a little bit of an adjustment but they've gotten used to it now and I think eventually they'll find that it'll pay off for them in those matches when we play longer and we have more competitive matches against like the top schools. Ooh, that's tough. Um, they both have their perks. Um, Coach Sassy is much closer to my age. Coach Bernal is much younger. And so, um, but Coach Bernal is much more intense than Coach Sassy in terms of tennis. Um, football might not say the same thing, but um, they both have their perks, so I'm not going to choose. And now I talk with Avery Edwards, the only senior on the team. I like Coach Bernal's coaching style. It's definitely more intense and productive than last season was. We would still have a lot of fun at practice, but I definitely feel like I get a lot more out of practice this year than I did last year. Coach Brunel is probably my favorite coach just because I'm with him most of the time. and I've gotten to know him a lot this season, and because he's so close to our age, I feel like we relate the most, so yeah. Practice is definitely more intense this year. Last year, like I said before, it was a little bit more laid back. We would pretty much just hit the ball and play games all day, which was super fun. But this year, we definitely do way more conditioning and a lot more drills that are definitely way more beneficial to when it actually comes to a real match. Being the only senior this year is a little bit weird just because I've always been friends with the girls and like the grade above me. And since they graduated, I never really thought about how I was like the only sophomore, junior, now senior. But I think it's really cool. And I do feel like I am a role model on the team just because I've been in the program for so long. And Preparation for our matches is basically just us riding the bus and somebody hooks up to the van, plays music, and we all just kind of like 
sing to the songs in the van and I don't know talk as a team and then when we get there we do our usual warm-up which consists of like a little bit of running and then our stretches and basically it's kind of it then you just warm up with your partner and you start your match and now I talk with Mia Wilkie it's nice having older people on the team to you know look up to but yeah I, it feels good because I can keep playing next year if I want to and I have two more years left to play so I, that, I mean, I don't really have any, it doesn't really have any effect on me, but I like it. Uh, many of them on the varsity team last year I had on my team last year, and then the new people who came in this year I still, I'm friends with, so, yeah, I just have, make new friends and have some friends from last year, so, yeah, that we have a good relationship. Um, I look forward to seeing all the tennis teammates again, and just playing for the school again, because it's really fun, and, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, just friends and playing in general. And that's it for today. Go support your Gretna Girls Tennis. Thanks, Garrett. Very cool. Speaking of cool, have you tried my new product, Marine Aqua? Here's more. Marine Aqua, fresh from the ocean. Unlike your ordinary products that have ordinary water, Marine Aqua makes every single drop count. Marine Aqua, natural taste in each drop. And we're back. Great product, very refreshing, especially on these hot days. Speaking of hot days, let's check in on that weather. Sophomore meteorologist Rachel has your outlook. Happy Friday, Dragons. We're heading straight into summer with today's high being 69 and today's low being 52. It's going to be partly cloudy all day. Back to you. That's our show. See you next year. I'm out. You know what? There won't be a next year. You quitting? Nah, the semester's over. That's the end of the class, dude. Stay cool, Gretna. Enjoy your summer. Woo!